Good morning, I'm Jacqueline and we are at Cafe Duval on a Thursday morning up in the heart of Italy. And uh, what, what is the address? The address is 2257 West 23rd Place. So you're in the heart so, uh, of Italy? Yeah, we're right over 23rd Place and Oakley Avenue. And how long have you been here? The cafe has been open since August, around August, and yeah. Here for coffee, tango, art. Okay, so at the cafe we usually have, we feature um, local artists on a monthly basis. And this month's art is by Mark Nelson, who's an artist in the neighborhood. And he's at the Gringo Landia Studios. And you'll see, he's actually done this whole series, has been for the cafe itself that he created and he painted for here. Um, it's not his usual type of work, it's <laughs> kind of a diversion, but, and it's the first time I think he's been using plexiglass with lights behind, but he's really a wonderful artist. Um, his website is gringoladia.com, and then, so you can see all his artwork all around the walls. Um, the artwork is usually changed every month, or every couple of months, and so you get to see a lot of like young artists and very talented artists. Um, okay, what else at the cafe? We have a full coffee bar, espresso bar. Um, as you can see, the space is open. This is used for tango sessions, Thursday and Friday nights. And we usually get, yeah, you see some wonderful dancing up here, some really wonderful dancers. And Bill, the owner, is a tango teacher, wonderful dancer too. <laughs> and he created this whole space as a tango art coffee has um, a lot of culture, a lot of great music, and lots and lots of great dancing. So when you're up in the heart of Italy, you have to come visit and bring your dancing shoes. Okay, tell us about uh, Bill, and uh, you know, he, he had bought the building a couple of years ago. Uh, resident of the neighborhood for a long time, uh, with the hiatus in Portland between. <laughs> Yeah, I think Bill started working on the cafe about a year ago, and this used to be an old ravioli store. And then he created into like coffee house, European style coffee house, really. Um, that he came, he started doing dance sessions here, like dance classes here last February, and then really built the place up around so that it's become like a tango coffee art house. But his background is in like, journalism and carpentry, finishing carpentry. So this whole place is being made. He, he carved everything himself. Everything up by his own hand, yes. <laughs> Even the tables. The tables were, yeah. Bill and Joelle made the tables. Um, Joelle is a wood sculptor from Cuba. So both of them created the tables, all the woodwork around the sides, the coffee bar. So the plans from here are that there's a new kitchen going to go in, um, that there'll be food served, like a full menu, and then the back is going to be um, open to the public at some point in the near future too, so especially for the warm weather that we open it out into people being able to sit at the back and use that space also. Oh, yeah, yard. yeah, there's trees and there's great shade over there. Um, okay, so there are tango sessions, classes every Thursday, Friday night, beginner, all levels. Um, on Thursday night we've got classes from 8 to 9 with Mina and Friday night 8 to 9 with Danielle and Ramona. Both have malangas that follow, which are just open social dance sessions from 9 to midnight, 1 o'clock. And as you can see, we've got like new dance sessions starting on Saturdays in April. So anybody who wants to dance, it's a great place to start. It's a comfortable environment, great teachers, <coughs> and great dancers, so you get lots of good practice.